girl. Band. Insurance. Mashed up and buy back. Mash it up and buy back. Uh, we don't have no baby. Mabli Fessa. Okay. Okay. All right, we're our shit out on Facebook. Uh, hello, everybody. Um, welcome back. Sorry I was out last night. It was a fluke. Uh, I want to say hi to my mama, to my daddy, to my sister, to all my relatives who watch. Thank you for your support, all my family and friends, and to you all who will be coming on into the room or watching the replay. I thank you as well okay hello okay so we are all shared out on everything we are going to get started at 805 uh again i want to apologize for last night uh, sometimes the spirit just tells your body to sat down and you don't have anything, uh, you don't get any say in it. I, you know, I always set my alarm for about 20 minutes before the show, just in case I fall asleep. And I totally did that this time. Um, and when I woke up, I was like, okay, getting up, let me, you know, gather myself. Next thing I knew, I opened my eyes and it was nine o'clock. Um, uh, so my body just was like, hey girl, we can't do it tonight. So, you know, I took the rest that I needed, but we're going to cover everything that we were gonna cover yesterday as well as today. Um, and we will probably have some time left over for questions and stuff. Uh, I wanna thank everybody. Y'all, we are sold out of the first round of mugs. Y'all are awesome. Um, we have a second round coming in. They are being, they are in production as we speak. So if you didn't get your mug on the first round, you still have a chance. Don't worry. Um, all right, we're getting started in three minutes. Uh, 8.05 and at 8.05, I would appreciate it if you would share this out to your people. All right. Um, mm, tonight we have stories about Zach's Bees, which is apparently a chicken spot I've never eaten there. Uh, we have stories about Glossier, um, it's a makeup subscription company. And we, we are talking about the newest viral sensation, where the money reside, where the money reside, where the money reside, <laughs> okay? So uh, those are the topics for tonight, as well as anything else that you guys would like to discuss. Um, yes. Uh, so, you know, I'm excited for the show. And, you know... Once y'all decide to pop in, we'll have a good time. Mm. Hey, hello, friend. Say hello so I can greet you personally, please. Mm -hmm. I'm getting started in two minutes. While we're waiting for the start time, got some nice soca music in the background. Do, do, do. Hey, hey. Y'all all ready for Christmas? Did you get all your presents? Did you order them all from Amazon yet? <laughs> That's why I ordered mine because I'm not going out in the street. Um. <laughs> all right. Okay, getting started in just one minute. 
Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I'm feeling much better today, by the way. Like uh, yesterday, I just I felt achy and just tired. Today, I feel energized. Hey, 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 hey. Where y'all at? I know y'all know I'm on. Look, you know, hey. All right. So it's time to get started. Let me hit the pause button. Pause, man. And then, uh, all right. And let's get started. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome to NPL Legal Dish. This is my Monday through Thursday live broadcast where I teach business and legal concepts using pop culture and celebrity news. If this is your first time watching the show or if you're listening to the playback uh, and you don't know who I am, I'm Natalie Pierre-Lewis. I'm the host of the show and I'm the owner and operator of NPL Consulting LLC, a business formation firm. What that means is I help people like yourself Get your business paperwork together. Things like getting your EIN numbers and DUNS numbers, making sure you have appropriate contracts, getting your articles of incorporation done with the state, um, brand protection strategies so people don't steal your business ideas like our brother where the money reside, who we are talking about today, uh, and hiring policies so you don't uh, get sued for discrimination. I help you do all of these foundational pieces. If you are wondering how or why I'm qualified, hey, Stacy. if you're wondering uh, why I'm qualified to help you do all of these things, I'm very happy that you asked. I'm a licensed attorney. I have been one for 15 years and counting. I've started multiple businesses for myself and others, both online and offline. I've had many careers in the realms of entrepreneurship, the law, education, hospitality, and administrative support. And most important, I'm very passionate about making business and legal education as accessible to everyone as possible. Not everybody has the time, the money, or the desire to go to business school or to law school. But a lot of you have amazing business ideas, and if you're going to be successful, there are just some things that you need to know. There's no way around it. So that is why I do what I do. So if you are in the startup phase of your business and you need a little bit of help, and you need, you know, some legal guidance, uh, you want to get in contact with me. So here's how you're going to get in contact with me. You're going to go to link tree forward slash NPL consulting firm. That is the link in my bio on Facebook and Instagram at link tree forward slash NPL consulting firm. You can book yourself a free 15 minute consultation. Uh, if you are a first time client, if you are not a first time client, uh, we have talk to me Tuesdays where you can get a 25 minute session for $25. Now, uh, initial consultations and Talk to Me Tuesdays, those are the only options available from now until after New Year's. I'm taking a little bit of break um, from, you know, the one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions because your girl is burnt out. I need some time to myself, all right? Um, but yeah, you can uh, book your in initial consultations and your Talk to Me Tuesday sessions. As well at Linktree forward slash NPL Consulting Firm, you can download the free Biz Launch Cheat Sheet that will help you choose and start your dream business in seven days or less, okay? Um, and at Linktree forward slash NPL Consulting Firm, you can find uh, many of my video trainings, like my business startup basics that takes you through the steps of establishing your business um Legitimately, I have my my focused uh, trainings where we go through the steps of getting an EIN number, a DUNS number, an operating agreement, all those things. Um, and also at Linktree forward slash NPL Consulting Firm is where you can get um, show merch, right? So this was designed by actually one of the viewers of the show, Nessie Time, um, and she is also the producer of the shirts and our mugs. Now, our mugs are all sold out, and I want to thank you guys for your support for the mugs. The first round of mugs are sold out. We still have a few shirts left, so if you haven't gotten yours, go to Linktree forward slash NPL Consulting Firm and grab that, okay? Uh, but yeah. Uh, but that is enough about me and, you know, NPL Consulting. Let's talk about why we're here today, just in case there's someone who watches and doesn't know what's happening. So this is how the show works. I pull stories from the news, stories from blog sites, stories um, from stories that you guys send me, story, you know, wherever I find something interesting and I pull the ones that have lessons that we can learn as business owners, as entrepreneurs, and we discuss them. So this is a time for us all to get involved. It's a time for us to ask our questions, to give our comments, as long as they're respectful, all right? So don't be afraid to, you know, give your comments. Uh, I, I will be, it's Stacey Joy. I might be picking on you today, girl, because uh, there's somebody watching on Facebook, but I can't see their I can't see their name, and they haven't said hello yet. Uh, so you're the only name I see. So I might be picking on you. <laughs> 
it's all right though it's the holidays people are winding down you know i understand but um yeah so we are going to get started all right stacy joy uh and whoever else is watching have if you have ever heard of um if you have ever heard of a a chain called zaxby's hi rondy gooden uh, if you ever if you have ever heard of a chain called Zaxby's, please give me a Z in the comments. If you have ever heard of Zaxby's, please give me a Z in the comments. Okay. Now um, you have not. Okay. Uh, I I posted in my stories. I asked people if they had eaten at a Zaxby's, and majority of the people who responded said that they did. Um, what, what's, what's C, uh, Stacy Joy? <laughs> what is the letter C for? Um, but yeah, Zaxby's is a, uh, apparently a chicken restaurant. Um, they have been in business since 1990. Uh, they have 900 locations in 17 states. So they are a pretty, okay. So they are a pretty prominent chain. It's cool, Stacy. Um, and their logo, if you don't know what their logo is, it is a white silhouette. Thank you, Rondi, for the Z. Their, their logo is a white silhouette of a rooster in a red circle. So think of like the Japanese flag, but that with that red circle in the minute in the middle, but then in the middle of that red circle, there's a big white rooster. So that is the Zaxby's logo, right? Um now. Uh, again, Zaxby's has 900 locations in seven states, including a few locations in Kentucky. Now, here is the issue. Um, in 2015, there uh, was a small chain started called Joella's Hot Chicken. If you have heard of Joella's Hot Chicken, please give me a J in the comments, okay? If you have heard of Joella's Hot Chicken, chicken give me a j in the comments if not just put a no now joella's hot chicken they've been in business since 2015 they have four locations in georgia and 15 locations total um they started in louisville kentucky and their logo is a yellow circle with a red silhouette of a chicken so red yellow circle in the middle of the circle, a red chicken. Okay. Now, Zaxby's has is is upset over Joel's uh, Joel's hot chickens um, uh, logo, and they're saying that you know they don't they they have actually filed um, a trademark infringement suit against Joella's hot chicken. They are saying that, look, you know, we, uh, they sent them a cease and desist letter in October of 2019. I guess that's when they came on their radar. They're like, look, your logo is too close to ours. We have a red circle with a white rooster. You have a yellow circle with a red chicken, right? Um, and they sent the cease and desist to Joella's hot chicken and Joella's hot chicken said, girl, what, what are you talking about? We are not, nobody is mistaking our logo for your logo. And on top of that, it's not even that good of a logo. Um, so Joella's hot chicken, they were like, we want all the smoke with you Zaxby's. So they are currently trying to get Zaxby's trademark logo, the red circle with the white rooster canceled, right? Okay, so I want to know from you guys, first question, do you think that Zaxby's logo, the red circle with the white rooster, is that similar to Joella's hot chicken logo with the yellow circle with the red chicken? Give me a yes or a no in the comments. Do you think that Zaxby's and Joella's logos are too similar would you mistake them if you saw them side by side a red circle with a white rooster and a yellow circle with a red chicken i will tell you that in the polls that i posted in my stories yesterday most people said that the 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 logos were not too were not you know too similar to each other they felt like they were different enough i am stacy joy said i agree it's too similar even though zaxby's has more has more 
Okay. So you so you think the logos are too similar to each other, Stacy? Um I don't know. I feel like if it was I I think the 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 colors the colors being somewhat different kind of helps Joella's um argument. Okay. And the, the and the shapes of the chicken are and and the the shapes of the animals within the logos they are different, right? Now, um now here on the other side, Rondi is saying it's completely different. So Stacy thinks that, you know, they they they're too similar and Rondi thinks they're completely different. So, you know, two different people, two different opinions. I think that while there are some similarities between the logos, I think there's enough of a difference that people could tell the to, could tell the difference. For for example, Zaxby's rooster, you can you know you have the headpiece with the rooster on little gobble gobble thing. The the Joella's hot chicken is just a fat chicken sitting there, right? Um so you know, so uh, so that's one of the things that has to be considered. Are the logos too similar? And then second, the second question I want to ask you guys, do you think that Joella's is going too far by trying to get Zaxby's trademark canceled? Basically, Joella's is saying, look, Zaxby's, we don't care if you have this logo uh, trademark. It is way too generic and you shouldn't even have this trademark. So we want the USPTO to cancel your trademark. Do you think Joella's is doing too much or are they just trying to defend their brand? What do you think? Mm, what do y'all think? And Rondi Gooden, while you putting your answers in, let me know, is the food at Zaxby's good? I have never eaten there. <clears throat> so let me know what y'all think. Joella's was like, look, not only do we not agree with the fact that we are infringing on Zaxby's trademark, we don't even think Zaxby's trademark is that good. We are, uh, we are, we are asking the USPTO to put it out to pasture. So what do you guys think? Do you think Joella's is going too far or are they trying to defend their mark? Um, I am Stacy Joy said, if they feel so strongly that no one will mistake it, why try to get them canceled? Mm, okay, I like the way you think, Stacy Joy. Okay, so if if so you're 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 if you're on their team defending them, you're like, look, if you are so hold on. Oh no, Zach, so if you're defending, you know, J uh, Zaxby's. You're just like, look, if Joella's thinks their logo is so different, why are they trying to get us canceled? What's the problem, Joella's? Are you feeling a little guilty? Rondi Gooden said they are doing too much. Okay, so I think you guys are both on the same page right there. You think that Joella's is doing a little too much trying to get um, Zaxby's trademark canceled. And Zaxby's has been in business since the 90s. So they've been in business for 30 years at this point. I don't think they're going to be losing their trademark anytime soon. Um, Rondi said, I don't even eat chicken. <laughs> Are you a vegan or a vegetarian, Rondi? Is that all they sell at Zaxby's? I don't, I don't know. I've never been there. Um, but yeah, so now we, we, I understand, we understand why these two chains are at odds. They have overlapping demographics. Zaxby's has locations in some of the same places that Joella's hot chicken has locations, but does Zaxby's have a monopoly on chickens in the middle of circles? Cause that's essentially what it comes down to. And this is why when you have a logo that you are trying to register, you want to be very specific in how you describe it. Because the more specific you are, the more unique it becomes so that you have a better chance of getting it passed, right? There's a difference between chicken in a circle and, you know, uh, a circle three inches in diameter, a chicken, you know, two and a half inches in diameter, red feathers, da 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 da, -da. <laughs> Okay. Um, so what do you, so, um, hold on. Rondi Gooden said, Joella's just needs to defend themselves. All right. So Rondi said, Joella's, you don't need to go as far as trying to get it canceled. Just defend your mark. If you think that there's no confusion, just stand on your own boo. Don't try and, you know, 
you know, throw throw mud in somebody else's well or whatever whatever you do in trying to get your point across. But I do also agree that I think Zaxby's might be doing a little much. You don't have a monopoly on chickens in circles, okay? All right. So uh, let's just take a, la a, a last poll amongst you guys. If you want Zaxby's to win this, give me a one, meaning that Joella's would have to change their logo. If you want Joella's to win this, meaning that they will get Zaxby's trademark canceled, give me a two. So again, if you want Zaxby's to win, which means that Joella's would have to probably change their logo, give me a one. Stacy Joy gave me a one. If you want Joella's to win, which means that Zaxby's would lose their, uh, their trademark, give me a two. All right. So, so far, Stacy Joy has given me a one. She thinks that Joella's, uh, so are you say giving a one because you think, uh, Zaxby's is doing the, um, Zaxby's is doing the right thing or Joelle's is doing too much. Um, I am Stacy Joy said Zaxby's has been around for 30. Let them have it. Okay. So you're saying, you know, they've built up the reputation. They've been around for 30 years. Like jo uh, Joella's hot chicken. You've only been around for 20 since 2015. You're only five girl. Calm, calm yourself down. Let the adults talk. <laughs> All right. Um, so, you know, uh, I hope that they can actually work this out. Again, I don't feel like these logos are so similar that I would mistake the chains for each other. Um, and especially Zaxby's has a bigger footprint than Joella's Hot Chicken, right? So people are very familiar. If, if you're a Zaxby's person, you're very familiar with what a Zaxby's look at, looks like. So you're probably going to look, if you see the Joella's Hot Chicken, you're going to be like, that kind of that kind of looks like Zaxby's, but it's not really Zaxby's. What is that? Oh, that's Joella's hot chicken. Well, I don't know who Joella's is. Let's find the Zaxby's, right? Um, but good luck to both of these chains because y'all, if if y'all don't know one thing about me, know that I like chicken. I think there should be more chicken in the world. Chicken brings us all together. Um, Rondi Gooden said, "I simply can't agree with either three. They both need to maintain their businesses as they were." prior. Okay. Rondi is somewhere in the middle. She doesn't think Zaxby should win. She doesn't think Joella should win. There needs to be something. Y'all should just basically go to your respective corners and leave each other alone. That is Rondi's, um, that is Rondi's, um, excuse me, view of the matter. And I don't disagree with that. I don't disagree with that. And sometimes that can happen. Even when parties go to court, right, for, for infringement in cases, just because you're already in court doesn't mean that you can't have, you know, behind the scenes conversations between the attorneys to try and settle. Nobody wants to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on litigation if they don't have to. So if you can settle, it's a good idea too, all right? So hopefully these two, uh, these two chains can settle and, you know, just provide the world with some delicious chicken. Um, all right. Okay. Moving on to our next story of the evening. My makeup girls, if you're into makeup or if you're into skin products, beauty products, whatever, please give me some type of cosmetic emoji. Give me a lipstick, a nail polish, a uh, lips. Give me some type of beauty related product emoji if you're into like skincare and makeup and things like that okay and while you do that i'm going to tell you why i am uh asking you to do this uh so there is a company named glossier i don't know if you guys have heard of this company thank you i am stacy joy stacy joy have you heard of glossier they are a subscription um skincare product company i've seen commercials for them um, and they've gotten pretty, pretty popular over the last few years. And over the past year, they have been trying to trademark a color for their packaging. Now, when they first started, started Glossier, you, um, you know, you have never heard of Glossier. Okay. Glossier was trying to trademark, um, pink bubble wrap, uh, pouches for their makeup, right? But the USPTO was like, girl, this is bubble wrap. This is bubble packaging, and that's for everybody. We're not going to trademark this, right? Um, and they were like, no, it's not about the bubble wrap. It's about the color. So Glossier has been fighting with the USPTO over the last year to trademark a color that they are calling millennial pink, right? So 
the first thing I want you to take from this case is that if the you if you apply for a trademark and the USPTO initially you know denies you or objects, that's not the end of the story. You can go back and forth with the USPTO and amend your application and put your arguments in. So just because they say no the first time doesn't mean that you're done for. Okay. So Glossier was like, look, we want pink bubble wrap. The USPTO said, girl, no bubble wrap. So Glossier has been trying to figure out. How can we trademark this color for our makeup subscription brand? And they have finally been successful. So Glossier has been able to trademark the color of millennial pink for the inside of packaging. Okay. It was actually issued on December 15th. So just two days ago. So any, if you are a makeup subscription service, you are not allowed to use the color millennial pink inside your boxes because that is something that Glossier has trademarked. It is totally possible to trademark a color. You just have to be very smart about it. And Glossier was very smart. They had very technical lawyers who were like, you know what, let's make this color pink as specific as possible. Where is the color pink going to appear? What kind of boxes will the color pink be in? This is how we're going to distinguish our brand in the marketplace. So for my people out there who might be thinking of starting a cosmetics line, don't don't do the inside of your boxes in pink because as of now according to the USPTO the color millennial pink in a makeup subscription box packaging belongs to Glossier so this is a this is really a, a long standing case and it shows that you know if you persevere and you do your applications the right way and you are creative you can get your trademark so don't ever be discouraged if you are you know if the USPTO objects to your first application that doesn't it doesn't mean that it's the end of the road for you um but for my makeup girls would any of you be um would any of you be interested in trying out glossier products if you would try glossier products give me a g in the comments now i think the 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 thing about glossier products what what they what they try to do to make them stand out in the marketplace is that their products are very simple um, you know, they're natural. They're, there's not too many chemicals. It's just very, um, it's very good for you type skincare products. Stacey Joy said she would try Glossier. Okay. I know that they've got like, you know, they've got like mascara, they've got face washes, they've got tons of things. Um, so congratulations to Glossier for being able to trademark her color. Now the Glossier is not, is not the first, nor will they be the last company to be able to trademark a color. T-Mobile has that magenta pink uh, trademarked for their company. Verizon had, well, no, that was Sprint. Sprint had the yellow, but Sprint is with T-Mobile now. Verizon has that specific shade of red. Starbucks has that shade of green. Tiffany blue is a trademarked color in the jewelry industry. Colors can be trademarked. So don't, it's just a matter of being very distinctive about where this color is going to appear. It doesn't mean that you own the color in perpetuity. It is only in your industry for specific things okay all right and you can even tr there are like aside from colors if uh, if you didn't know uh, the company play-doh is one of the first companies to successfully trademark a smell as well so if you can find something distinctive enough and that you know nobody else can can uh, duplicate and you have a um, and you're able to you know write a, a in a, a very, mm, what you call that, persuasive argument to the USPTO, you can make your mark in this world, all right? So congratulations to Glossier, all right? Uh, before we move on to our final story of the evening, um, I'm Stacey Joy said, wow, I didn't know that you could trademark colors and smells. Interesting. Yes, ma'am, you can trademark colors, smells, sounds, um, your logos, what is it, names, um, there's six of them. It's in, if you go to my, my ebook store, gumroad.com forward slash MPL consulting firm, um, I have my trademark toolkit ebook and it goes through everything that you can trademark. Okay. I'm probably going to do, um, a, a trademark episode at the top of the year for the show, just as a refresher for everybody as well. Okay. Um, but yes, so congratulations to Glossier. 
All right, before we move on to our final story of the evening, I want to remind you guys that you are watching NPL Legal Dish. This is my Monday through Thursday live broadcast where I teach business and legal concepts using pop culture and celebrity news. If you are in the startup phase of your business and you need some legal guidance, I encourage you to come contact me. I love helping entrepreneurs get their business ideas out of their heads and onto the ground. So go to linktree forward slash NPL Consulting Firm and book yourself a free 15-minute consultation. If you are not a first-time client, you can book a Talk To Me Tuesday session. Please be aware that one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, the one-hour the one hour sessions are not available until 2021. Your girl is on a break, okay? All right. Uh, and you can get do all that at Linktree forward slash NPL Consulting Firm. All right. Moving on to our last story of the evening. Uh, Stacy Joy, have you seen the latest uh, person to go viral, or have you heard have you heard this song lately? Where the money reside, where the money reside, where the money reside, where the money reside. <laughs> if you have heard that, give me the laughing face emoji, Stacy Joy. Okay. If you have heard where the money reside, give me the laughing face emoji. If you have not, oh, you have. Okay. So you know what I'm talking about, all right? So there is a gentleman, um, uh, is that Margaret? Hey, Margaret. <laughs> so there is a gentleman uh, who on his, his first name is Darrell. His social media handle is at Darrelly Rells, both on Twitter and Instagram. I followed him today. He is a car salesman out in Louisiana at Richardson's. It's okay, hon. You can, you can rewatch the, you can watch the replay. Um, so yes, so he is a car salesman out in Louisiana at a place called Richard's Honda. And he has gone viral on the internet because of his promotional videos. So you'll see him pop out of a Honda out the trunk and he'll be like, you know, come get your cars. I got deals today because we are here at Honda where the money reside, where the money reside, where the money reside. And it has caught fire, right? I have seen it no less than 30 times just today. Uh, people are doing remixes to it, right? And Mr. Durrell, he is cashing in as he should. Durrelly Rells is the, is the blueprint for how you cash in on going viral, right? Yes. Not only has he has already filed his trademark for the phrase where the money reside, he has merch out where, um, where the money merch out. He has purchased the domain, and he has purchased the domain for where the money reside. So Dorelli Rells is not missing any coins out here. He is getting to the back. He knows that he has something that he can that he can monetize, and he is not letting anybody steal it from him. Remember the per does anybody remember the girl who created the flip the, uh, the phrase on fleek. She didn't make a dime from that phrase because she didn't protect it. Dorelli Rell said, no ma'am, not me. And he is getting to the money ASAP. He is actually already sold out of his where the money reside merch. Um, he is getting more developed. You can pre-order if you want. Um, and even, and with all of this attention that he's been getting from going viral, Honda, the act, the corporate company, they have reached out to him for a collaboration. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you cash in on going viral. So we want to congratulate the brother Dorelli Rells for really taking a moment and turning it into a money-making opportunity. I'm sure he is a top seller out at Honda. He is on all the news shows, all the podcasts want to talk to him. All the memes are coming out. So get your money, Dorelli Rells. We are proud of you, okay? All right, so those were the stories that I had for you today. Um, I said it was going to be an extended show, but there was nothing interesting in today's, uh, in, uh, in the notifications that I got today. And, you know, I don't want to give y'all fluff stories. I like stories that we are interested in. And for me, when I'm looking at stories, I tell myself, if I'm not interested in it, they're not going to be interested in it. So I always make sure that I pick stories that I know that if they excite me, they're going to excite you too, because I'm going to be able to just get into it that much more. All right. But if you want, what we can do for the next few minutes is go into Q and A, because this is our last um, show of the week. Uh, and we'll be back on Monday. 
So if you have any questions on business formation, if you have any questions on the stories we covered tonight, Zaxby's, um, Glossier, or where the money was at, um, you know, now's your time to ask them. Uh, I do want to let you guys know that from Christmas to New Year's, I will not be doing a live show. I'm taking a one-week break. I have been doing this live show for almost three years straight. Um, and I, with, with the exception of a few days here and there, um, you know, I haven't really taken a break. So we're going to take a week break and then come back for season two of NPL Legal Dish, you know, in the, in the early 2021, but your girl's got to, you know, wind down and refresh. Um, okay. As well, uh, if you haven't gotten your NPL Legal Dish t-shirts, go to linktree forward slash NPL consulting firm and grab them now. Uh, what else did I want to tell you guys? Uh, I hope you guys, you know, uh, have gotten all your Christmas plans sorted away. I hope they involve small groups. Please avoid large groups. People wash your hands, wear your masks. Um, take care of yourselves. You know, last night, you know, I, I literally like my body just felt so run down and then I fell asleep and I woke up so late and sometimes if you don't if you don't slow down your body will slow you down so please take care of yourselves so that you know you can do what you need to do I realize that while sometimes I may beat myself up and say I'm not doing enough I have to realize that I am doing a lot and you know I deserve to take a break every now and then all right so I do encourage you guys to take care of yourselves uh, but that is what I'm going to leave you with. Uh, I will be back on Monday, I promise, with more stories. If you find anything you want me to talk about, come bring it on into the room um, as well. What else? Uh, yeah, so that that's all I have for you. Have a great night. Have a great weekend, and I will see you on Monday. Bye-bye.